So, ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm alive. I'm alive and well. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed. Uh, today was the first time. It was a very scary situation for all of us here. As a tornado swept by. You know, um, I mean, if you were on the roof of our house, you could just see it go past by. Um, anyway, so today we're talking Mars in the fifth house for Scorpio ascendant in the sign of Pisces. As in what happens when Mars is in the fifth house while it rules the ascendant in the sixth. And as always, we do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, check out the links here at kiarasastrology.com where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Maghavedic Astrology Academy, where I'm currently teaching the Nandi Nadi course. And also you'll find my Vastu course, my Dasha course, my entire Vedic Astrology course. So, um, Mars in the fifth house. See, on one end, this is a very great Raj Yoga, especially when Mars is surrounded by benefics or is is especially being aspected by jupiter here that's when it creates a raj yoga you will notice with scorpio without aspect it's more of a neutral uh planet here it is a yoga but it's a neutralized yoga because of the position of how mars rules things but of course there's many other ways that you'll find different yogas, different dhan yogas in a chart. But see, you gotta understand Mar has, Mars has a particular karkavastha, which means it has a particular significance which is of tamasic nature. It is of malefic nature. You know, uh, wherever Mars goes, it brings cruelty, scars, cuts bruises metaphorically physically in a person's life and of course mars is that planet of conflict and the reason why mars becomes a planet of conflict because there's always is this focus on protection with mars that i have to protect myself which is the initial first house of Mars. The actual very first zodiac sign. And then the other zodiac sign is the eighth house. Which means worrying about security, worrying about the unknown, right? So these aspects are controlled by Mars. So if you have an aspect of your body, which is a safety, Mars will also say, well, you're also going to have to deal with that other side of conflict because without that you cannot understand how precious your body is okay so as an individual being having mars in the fifth first of all the intelligence can become very spunky intelligence becomes um very impulsive like somebody who's willing to take a quick decision, fast decision related to fifth house matter. It's like this anxiousness that just wants that thing to happen in one's life. And because of this, you will see that this individual will make mistakes in terms of raising children. Even in terms of you know, one's education. They'll be very impulsive towards romance, jumping into the ocean of romance. And what happens is, especially in romance and for children, they'll spend money and they'll get into debt because of their romantic lovers. So this is the Mars that is so uh, physically present. See, when Mars 
is a planet of physical presence. Like I am here now. I'm not worried about anything about the future. And the past is gone. So if I need to do something, I'm going to do it now. So if I'm going to love you and I'm going to romanticize you. Okay, what do I need to do? Well, because I have Mars in the fifth. The moment the romance comes in, I may not be able to pay straight for it. I'm going to borrow money for that romance. I will borrow money and get into debt for my children, their upbringing or their education. Usually you'll find this with education. Okay. And especially if Mars is in a malefic pos position here, which can happen in... 22 different ways. Children would definitely require your money. Even take your money. Wanting to use your money. Because first of all, Mars is the Ascendant Lord, which is you. Mars is the Sixth Lord, which is your debts, but is second from the Fifth House. Which means the wealth of the children is your Sixth House of debt. So when children get their money, you get into debt. And because is the sixth Lord in the fifth house, that means sixth Lord is 12th from itself. So for children, they're taking all the resources for them, for themselves. And this is why you will see um, when children happen, one's physical aspects okay begin to slow down before that a person can be very much not only athletic but will be very good at it but now all that energy that mars owns that mars has is now being transferred over to the other aspect of uh, fifth house which is children And so this is where these bit of these conflicts come into play. And of course, because Mars is the ascendant, the Lagna, it represents the entire focus of your existence in life will go towards the fifth house, whether a person wants to become an athlete, wants to go into trading and speculation, wants to go into medical field okay wants to go into being a army police officer especially a marine but what these are just the soul's focus right will the soul achieve this for that of course you have to see saturn and you have to see the source of wealth and money which is venus because we all have all these things designed for ourselves that I want to be this I am this I wish to be this and that but then life is like hold my beer I got another surprise for you so it makes you do things that perhaps is not conducive with your path with the vibrations of the fifth house and because like I said you know Mars is in the fifth thousand Pisces a person intelligence and ability to raise children becomes very oblivion. Like the decisions they take or not even um, decisions, the way they raise their children. First of all, Mars is malefic. So this just because it's in Pisces doesn't mean it becomes soft. No, you know what happens with Mars and Pisces? Person has a dual nature. One minute they can be very much involved with their children. The next minute they can be punishing their children. And they'll punish hard. And especially in female's chart we can see they will have C-section. Which of course is like what? 80% of all pregnancies are C-sections. But what happens is remember what I said. Mars is that 
scar. There is always the scar that happens metaphorically related to the fifth house. Either your life completely changes because of a broken heart in romance. Or on the other hand, there could be a scarring because of the educational pursuits you desired versus what you got. Or the other, the children give a scar, which is very subjective because on one end, it could be that, yeah, your children can turn against you. But that can also happen with many other positions and many other ascendants. It's not like strictly to Scorpio. Or the thing is, like I said, it's subjective. Like your children wanted to do something else. You wanted them to do something else. You wanted them to go into police or be an IS officer, doctor. And they're like, no, I'm going to pursue being a gamer. And there's this scar that leaves, like, how can my offspring do this to me? And again, that's none of that's not their problem. Your children's uh, life path is, is not your problem. And they will say it's not your problem either. It is Mars. What your children will choose, you know, it's, it's their life. It's their deciding. Um, you can be sad, but the universe is just going to laugh at you. Your children, you're not owning your children. You're simply bringing in your children as people who have to also live out their karma. So this is where you will see that the scars come in. Sometimes self-inflicted because of your own hopes and desires. Sometimes it is a scar that... You know, just always can never f heal that wound in their heart. You know, um, and of course, if let's say this is a female chart, then spouse will be very much involved with investments. They can also be involved in, you know, marketplaces export import um, supply chain and usually they will always chase something round and round they will always do one thing and chase keep chasing something that they cannot really achieve like they feel like here I am in IT but I want to be a multimillionaire through forex trading and even though they fail they'll keep chasing that particular dream Knowing that nothing is happening, it's just that same circle, same scenario. You know, and then also, uh, you will see, especially if you have a younger brother, they may become the obstacle in your romance at one point. Maybe they don't like the girl. They fight with your girlfriend or they fight with your boyfriend. And now the other person is mad at you because you weren't really defending them. All these Dramas can occur, but again, this is not going to hurt the relationship with the uh, younger brother. For that, we have to see certain positions, especially from Jupiter, to see how that relationship is going to be. And especially the younger brother may be a great artist, great performer with this particular position. They'll have like that abstract, you know, intelligence and uh, artistry in them, regardless of what their profession is. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Mars in the fifth house for Scorpio ascendant people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. If you want to know where your Mars is placed, along with all my consultations, reports, check out the links here, caresastrology.com. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.